In case you haven't previously used the application and you haven't paired with the bike, let me walk you through the, that process so you could complete it with ease. You'll need to create a new account. You type in your name, last name, all the required information. Once you have created your account, the application will prompt you to allow some things for it to use. The important thing is to set it all as agree or allow. Now we need to pair the bike to your account. You can enter the QR code by going to info screen and then pressing the joystick to the right. In the application you will be prompted to the screen which will ask you to pair the bike. You just press pair bike, start scanning QR code and scan the QR code which is on the display. Wait a couple of seconds and your bike will be paired to your account. Once you have paired with your bike, you will be prompted to the bike network setup. Here you'll need to type in under the SSID the same name as you have put on your mobile phone for the hotspot name. Under password, the same password you have typed in on your mobile phone. After that, you will be entering remote mode in the application. Here you will be able to see your bike's location and also some other features like text to the bike, acquire a photo, lock the bike in case you see somebody's moving it and you don't want him to use it, you can lock it and turn it or turn it off. To enter the dashboard mode, your bike must be connected to your mobile phone's hotspot. Also, in the top right corner of the application, you'll see the connection status. Still spinning, that means that the connection has, hasn't been established for you to be able to enter the dashboard mode. If you see it not spinning with uh, three, three little uh, waves, then you can turn your phone to landscape and you will enter the dashboard mode of the application. Here, it will sometimes ask you for uh, you to allow like camera to be used or Bluetooth and other uh, features. You'll need to say OK because if you don't approve it, the application won't work as expected. So press OK and allow. Now we are in navigation mode and here you can go to this search button and type in the location where you want to go. Once you typed it in and selected it, the phone will give you the best route to your location. Also, by shifting the joystick up, it will change the mode to satellite. So you won't just see lines and uh, roads, you will be able to see the whole satellite view. From the navigation mo uh, mode, you can go to potato mode. This mode gives you information about how far you can go depending on the battery level you currently have and the assistance level you're using. If you increase your assistance level, it will automatically recalculate the information and tell you how far can you go now. This will constantly recalculate and give you the information. The next mode we have is Ride Session. Here you can see some uh, detail about your session, like how long was your trip, uh, maximum speed, all kinds of data that you want to see if you will improve on your next ride or compare your progress. The next mode is camera. As you might know, the bike has two cameras, one in the front and one in the rear. When you're in camera mode, you can switch the camera from front to rear by pressing the joystick button up or down. And to start recording, you just press the middle of the joystick button. When you want your video to end, you just again press the middle and it ends. It saves automatically to your phone and you can see it there. The last feature we have is fitness mode and it will ask you to use Bluetooth and you just press allow. This mode is connected to the HR monitor that you were given when you bought the bike. You can adjust your heart rate from for example 100 to 130. While you're in that range the bike will give you some level of assistance. When your heart rate is above that range it will increase the assistance so your heart could beat slower and get back to that desired range. 
The same is when your heart rates go down, it will lower the assistance so you could try harder and uh, increase your heart rate to that desired range. These five features that we go through are all five features that we currently have on our Android phone.